वेलकम टू अ मैसिव कोलाबा हॉल बिकॉज वी वेंट आफ्टर टू ईयर्स टू कोलाबा एंड इट वॉज लाइक अ गोल्ड माइंड देर वॉज सो मच गुड स्टफ एंड आई कुड शॉप द लॉट मोर बट बाय द टाइम आई कैप सींग मोर एंड मोर गुड स्टफ मैंने ऑलरेडी इतनी शॉपिंग करनी थी कि आई हैड टू स्टॉप माई सेल्फ के हेली बस कर सो दर इज अ वेरी गुड क्रिएटर बाय द नेम आकृति वास ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड शी हैड वोन दिस ए सॉस जम्पर विच वॉज सो प्रिटी बट द मेन कलर्स इन इट वो वॉट अट्रैक्ट मी द ऑरेंज येलो एंड ब्लू एंड आई फाउन द एग्जैक्ट same color scheme at Kolaba I loved her jumper so much that I went on the ASOS website only to look at that jumper but delivery and customs and everything was so expensive that I had to let it go so this top is a match made in heaven for my color palette it's a drip material um it fits very snug and I don't know if there were more sizes in this so this one did fit me perfectly my measurements 34 to 36 on the chest 28 to 30 on the waist and around 36 to 38 on my hips so this fits me really well now you will know me if we like something we buy it in multiple colors and that fit of the top is something i love so this was another color scheme that i fell for a very nice lilac with orange and white one tip i have for you is uh, don't wear a strapless bra in this if possible even with a pair of high waisted shorts and white sneakers bahut acha lagega in like bearable summers because it's a thick material but i think i am still going to wear it in mumbai so basically this particular vendor had a lot of ribbed stuff the same material like the same pattern So from him only I bought like two more tops, two or three, three more tops. The next one is this very patla noodle strap top with a one line neckline and a butterfly embroidery on the center. This top I don't know why reminds me of Nikki so much from Nikki and Gabby. I feel like this is very her aesthetic, very her style, and it looks fabulous. But I still find it cute enough to wear it. The next one is this white tank top, but it is very interesting because the neckline and the sleeve line is completely different. Like the neckline is a rust orange. color and the sleeve is a deep burgundy and i love the contrast i've never seen something like this before and i think it looks very smart the length is also long so on on some of those low waist denims that i have is what i plan to pair this with and i think the final top that i bought from the vendor is this one which is a double layer top so when i was buying it i didn't realize that the top outside which is the black top actually has a slant hem i thought it was actually a crop top like it will be symmetrical like basically the gap between the ye- neon yellow top and the black top i thought was equal throughout but no it's actually slant so basically for all the tops i think i paid 1300 which is how each top came to 260 rupees then at the beginning of the market i found this one particular vendor who had only one one piece of each so from him i bought this super pretty and royal looking linen top uh, which is in a beige color it has an elastic at the back and the crop is slightly curved from the front the fit of this was going to be either a hit or a miss because it's not very stretchy it was either going to fit me properly or it wasn't going to fit me at all and it did fit me well i love how this looked like bahut pasand aaya mujhe ye and the second piece that we bought from him was this very summery skirt there's oranges on it lemons and i think dragon fruit or pink kiwi i'm not too sure what exactly the print is but this skirt is fabulous like himani literally told me ki mere liye kyun ek aur leke aaye and that's when i told her it's like it was like a one piece shop so we just share it now the next shop that i went to had a lot of spaghetti tops and personally i love spaghetti tops so uh, the three spaghetti tops i bought from him uh, the first one is this black and white strappy top it is a little loose on me but i do like loose strappy tops also as long as they're strappy i'm happy that rhyme it has a v neck at the front and a normal rectangle like normal straight back love the fit of it the material of it everything about it probably my most favorite top from the haul now this second one has a story this is beautiful it is very princess like it's very dainty and i told the bhaiya so many times that ye mere ko chhota hoega aap mera size dekho he had a bigger size aisa bhi nahi ki unke paas nahi tha tha unke paas bada size but he was very adamant ki no this will fit you right and the first time i was trying to wear this i heard like thread Head falling apart, breaking. So I don't know कि कहाँ से सिलाई फटी है, but um, अभी तो फिलहाल कहीं से नहीं दिख रहा है. So I, I I can still definitely wear it. It's very short actually. So even my high waisted denim पूरा नहीं पड़ रहा है. So I plan to wear this with like a plain skirt or a super high waisted shorts or something like that. And the final top that I bought from him is apparently from Hollister because वहाँ पे ना काफी fake tag वाले कपड़े भी मिलते हैं. But it does have original Hollister tags on it. Um, so this is the super dainty top. It's a very heavy like इसका वजन काफी है. So it does make me 
feel like it's good quality and it's ruched throughout so it's very stretchy like that this top is also one of my favorites all three tops had cost me rupees 750 if i'm not wrong yeah i bargained it down to 250 per top then we made a massive purchase which was this brown bag great looking big bag to stuff my normal day stuff as well and i came across this bag uh, he was quoting 1350 to everyone and we bought it for 900 rupees so from the same vendor the reason why he bargained so much was i bought i think five bags from him but the collection with him was so good yaar, I can't tell you this big brown bag does come with this small brown pouch and I think the brown pouch has a sling it does hey yaar, ye badi sahi baat hai. the second bag we bought from him is this cutie patooty little tweed mini sling bag it just looks beautiful this one was for 250 rupees you can either hold it in your hand with a handle like this or you could just extend it then he had baguette bags ba these are basically baguette bags and he had I think three four different options in it so this bag i think was for around 300 rupees and that's a steel deal for something which is so trendy and the other baguette bag i bought from him is this christmasy vibe because red and green is like it screams christmas so this is the other one then um a very random purchase from him is this heart shaped fur bag i just loved it i don't know why i just loved it i connected to this bag so we bought this this i think was for 400 rupees kolaba is known for their pj shorts and their full pjs so also 200 rupees mein milte and uh, I was looking for like decent length. I don't like super long also and I don't like super short also. This was the first pair I found for 100 rupees. Uh, they're floral, they're cute. I haven't tried them on yet. I'll wash them. Everything has been quarantining for over two weeks. So I think I'll put them in finally. And the second pair is also floral only. Uh, this is what it looks like. I feel like this can be a little bit small in the thighs maybe. But otherwise the length and the waist looks perfect. Then mobile accessories. So uh, we did buy a new phone. It's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And for that, I've been looking for wallpaper. <laughs> But uh, I only bought one cover when we bought the phone and I was looking for uh, different covers. The exact same cover I was quoted rupees 350 only. So uh, we got this actually for 275. 275 for each cover. Uh, so I bought two more colors which is a pink and a green. I've been waiting to use them but I was like not before showing you. Um, so I think I'm going to start using the pink or the green. I think the pink. Yeah. Let's go for the pink. I miss my pink 10R cover so we're going to pay respect to that and start with pink for this phone also. And then we come to jewelry so the first pair of earrings is this very cute pink huge beads voila earring um it looks fabulous i love it that's all i have to say <laughs> The second pair of earrings is this very different kind of finishing wale silver hoops and they, they have a matte finish. I think they look stunning. The size is also great. Uh, these ones I got for 50 rupees. And the final pair I got is this pair of uh, chotu pearly hoops. They were for 50 rupees only. I think they'll complement a lot of different outfits. And talking about pearls, I found the daintiest necklace. I wasn't so sure about buying it. But the moment I came home, mom was so like She loved this necklace the most out of everything. And I'm like, what is so so special about it and uh, I found out what she was saying once I wore it because it looks beautiful it looks very necklace se. and the final piece of jewelry is uh, this shell wala necklace this I found for 80 rupees I think 80 or 100 rupees no 80 rupees it was oh coming to hair stuff I bought one hairband which is this red and white polka dot hairband uh, I love when hairbands have this turban type design on top of it and uh, we bought two rubber bands which are the most aesthetic piece of accessory I've ever seen in my life. The first one is a pink and white checkered rubber band. So both of these are like scarf designs. Um, so this is a simple check one and the other one is a daisy one which I think has hand painted daisies because the flowers actually feel rubberized. So I think like someone's done it by their hand. I was still just 50 rupees so I don't know how that happened. Okay, most random purchase a pair like three pairs of socks because I've been staying at my best friend's place a lot. Like I randomly just end up staying at Himani's place. So I've been keeping Keeping my clothes a lot there, like my lingerie, my undergarments, which is one and the same, and my socks as well. So I've been running out of socks, um, just wanted to stock them up. This was 120 rupees for three pairs. I bought three more bags because before I visited the final bag person, I found these two bags ahead of me. So this one, I, I have a feeling that maybe Chanel ki kisi bag ka duplicate hai. I'm not too sure which is why I bought because I wasn't too sure. It, from inside, it has a lot of space, like not a lot of course because it's so tiny. Uh, so these two bags cost me I think 350 total, so 175 200 rupees per bag. And the second one is this uh, big golden brooch in the front which is already scratched. I think that's why he gave me the discount. 
then I found a Sone ki khan wala scarf vendor because dude the stuff he had for 100 rupees was crazy but the first one is this baby pink sequin scarf which is oh so gorgeous the second one is this pleated leopard print or cheetah print which has neon tassels so all this detailing for 100 rupees is why I was like this has got to be like a thrift store and the final two were because of the print that I got them because the print is so aesthetic the first this one has these birdies and blue leaves on it and it also has like shiny thread work and the second one has this um, color scheme that I absolutely love where like in a floral design, a floral print and in true Dhwani Bhatt style, if I went and took sunglasses, then what did I do? So I bought this pair of funky red sunglasses which I don't know why I bought because I think I look stupid. <laughs> Only uh, two more vendors we went to after that. From the first one, I actually went to get this, which is like a multicolor striped top, and Kolaba was full of this print and pattern. And just while leaving, I found this top, which I don't know I why I fell in love with it in the moment. But after coming home, I was regretting this purchase. Ki I'm not sure if I'll actually wear it. Kaisa lagega? But after wearing it, I do think it's quite nice. It gave me like isko pehen ke ek hi gana mere mann mein aa raha tha ki dil garden garden ho gaya and. Uh, then we went to a dress person because I did want to buy a few summer dresses like light color, white color summer dresses. So the first one is this one which has tiny tiny little um, floral print on it and I think it's a little chicken embroidery type scene. Hai. Um, this dress cost me rupees 300. Then the second dress I bought is this blue color ka dress which after coming home I realized it has a fake Zara tag on it. Uh, but its cups are not fitting me together. The design is pretty good, the color embroidery is lovely. It's just the cups that kind of ruined this dress for me which was also for 300 then uh, again for 300 we found this clementine dress uh, I don't know how I know the word clementine I think clementines are also just oranges but um, this is the pattern it has buttons in the front which I don't really love but I'll still figure a way to style them uh, I think with white sandals tan like a jute bag and sunglasses could probably work second last dress is a typical Zoella dress I would say because she wears stuff like this all the time at least she used to before she got pregnant Zoe is pregnant so she would wear these kind of dresses with leather jackets and boots uh, during I think autumn was it I'm not too sure and I plan to style this with a belt because I think it'll look gorgeous this dress was uh, for 350 rupees and it has pockets and my favorite dress out of the lot was this green colored dress uh, because the fit of this actually flatters me a lot I love these kind of cuts I love like strappy dresses fit and flare dresses this was I think for 350 or 300 but totally worth the price whichever it was one of the two but and yeah all the way back to the car, the final purchase we made is this marble bag. Kulaba has these vintage kind of bags everywhere. But this one reminded me of a particular Zara bag that I wanted, I think, a year ago. So this is the closest thing I found to it and I love it. Uh, this cost me 500 and this was the massive collab haul but if you enjoyed watching this video and if you found this helpful then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and if you did not enjoy watching this video bindas give it a thumbs down i will see you in a brand new video very very soon until then goodbye